Hi, I'm Kruno. Thanks for watching ePlan Essentials. Are you an industrial control panel builder? Then you may want to know what is your total wire consumption in your panel? This question we received recently on our YouTube channel and will cover in today's video. Alright, we are here in our famous ESS sample project and as we know with the routing and production element we have the possibility to create the shortest possible routing path between source and target and with thus we are getting a proper wire length. And now obviously the question is how can we create a proper report for instance like a point-to-point -point connection list and summarize the certain wires to get the total wire consumption report and this will be the topic of today's video so first of all in general right if you would like to create any type of report in ePlan uh, you will likely not start from scratch but select a report type which is already available and then modify it to your needs test it and adjust it until it looks like you are expecting it to be. So in our case, if we look here in the page navigator under EMA3, where we have already some type of connection list, we will see point-to-point -point connection lists, which has already information like source, target, part number, cross-section, color, length bundle number and some additional information which are important for the installation of the wires like the conductor end and source as well as the routing direction source and target and the routing track this seems to be already a pretty good template for us which we would like to enhance with a little bit of information so we can get our um, total length calculation right Typically, on the right top of the form, you will see what the form name is. In our case, F27-004. So this information is necessary for us when we create our new form. So we know what is the original, which we are copying in order to create a new form. So we will select this form and then we will try to calculate the sum of the lengths and display it on the bottom of the page so in order to do this we will go to master data and then on the form you have the possibility to copy and then select f27004 so we will try to do this here form copy and then what's very important in eplan you have over 47 different report types so you will have to most likely select here the right report type i have already select, selected connection list and then f27004 I'm sorry here f27004 will be the right template and then we will have to enter the name of the form which we would like to create right in my case, I already have created it. So instead of copying, I will go here back and on the form, I will open the form which I created. I called it F27004 sum. So if I open this, then you see this is the editor for our form. And I used here a couple of texts. So here you see connection, connection length with unit and if i click here in this property you will see that there is a functionality which is called summation carryover for the property which i said here connection connection length with unit so we will use this functionality to display in case the report which we are creating 
is more than one page. So we would like to know which value are we carrying over from the previous page. And here at the bottom, I added the same property. As you see here, property, connection, connection length with unit. And the summation here is subtotal plus carryover. And lastly, here at the bottom, we have again the same property connection, connection length with unit. And at the end, we would like to have a total information. Just to give you insight, what type of summation functionalities do we have? The default is set to not add up. Then we have subtotal subtotal plus carryover carryover and total so we use the last three in our page here additionally to it we have here which is now overlapping the text which we would like to display which is called subtotal total length and carryover at the top okay so this was the um, cosmetic which we did on this form and now how can we create a report out of this, okay? So I went in under tools. As we know here under tools, we have the possibility to generate a report or create then templates for our project, right? So here reports will create new reports and under templates, we can create report templates for the project. And I created here a new connection list report, which will be generated under EMA4 as the first page. And here I have filter setting and sort setting defined. The filter setting will display a certain wire and the sort setting will just sort it by length. Um, there is no particular reason why I did this. I thought it's maybe a nice display. Okay. So, and that's essentially the thing which we need to know in order to display it proper, okay? So let's go maybe back and define which wire we would like to display here. As you see, there are various wires. Let's go, for instance, here under this black or four square millimeter, and this is the part number. So I'll just very quick click here in, select this value and go under control C, so now that I know this part, which I would like to generate the report for, we will go back here under tools, generate in the connection list part. Here I have under filter setting defined the part. And here you see, I created the filter, which tells me which part number would you like to have? Here you could either go on the three dot button and select any part or any wire which you would like to, to use. Or if you have copied like I just did, you could use here the paste functionality to paste it in. Okay. Additionally to it, I would like to know only the wires from a certain enclosure. And in my case, I have um, four or more enclosures in the ESS sample project. I only care in this case for the enclosure A1. If you would like to have a total wire length consumption for all enclosures in your project, then obviously you don't need the second and the third row here, okay? And if you press okay and press play, then under EMA4, a report will be generated, which is only one page. That means there is no carryover. I have sorted the wires by wire length. So you see the wire length is incrementing. And at the bottom, you see a subtotal, which is obviously the total because we only have one page. So we see in this project, it's 19.64 meters of the black squ uh, four square millimeter wire. Uh, if I would like to have, for instance, a different wire, then I will can go here and say, what about the blue 1.5 square millimeter? Let's just use here copy and under generate reports part, 
I will just replace the part number here. Okay. And now if we press the play button or generate report again, then we will see here under EMA4, it's the blue 1.5 square millimeter wire, which also have only one page, so there is no carryover and the length is incrementing. And in this case, it should be 22.71, which is the subtotal and the total. Is this the perfect solution to get the total wire length consumption? Maybe it's sufficient. The disadvantage, what you see here, is that in the way how I did it in this case, I can only do it for one wire. If you would like to have it uh, more dynamic, right? Then you can, for instance, export the wires into an Excel sheet and use their filter functionalities, right? How would this work, right? For instance, you could select in the connections navigator all 3D wires in, for instance, a project, or you can add additional filters. And now under file, you can go to export manufacturing data and labeling, right? Here, you will need to create a filter for a connection list, which contains the information which you would like to export. Uh, like you can use the C8 plus export here or smart wiring would already be sufficient or you can create any of the custom reports, right? And then you can press here export and start application, which will generate a point to point connection list where you, for instance, can add a filter by pressing here sort and filter and filter and now you can filter by a certain color for instance blue 1.5 and this will show you all blue 1.5 wires and as you see here the length you could use summarizing and selecting all the wires so that will be in ePlan a way how to create total wire consumption reports. This wraps up today's ePlan Essentials video. If you find the content beneficial, please make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel and share it in your community. Also, leave a comment below what other videos you would like to see on this channel soon. Until the next time, Uncle Kruno signed out.